welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna go thrifting I have not even looked through any of my fall decor yet but I know that I want to add some cozy warm pieces into my decor so there's no better place to go to than a thrift market so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go have some thrifting fun okay guys so this thrifting video we're going to be going over my thrifting tips so tip number one i love to pull out cash i will still have my card and my wallet for those special larger pieces that you just can't say no to but for the most part i like to stick to the cash that i have so whether that's fifty dollars or a hundred dollars all of our budgets are completely different but pull out a little bit of cash and try to stick to that this thrift market was really cute because they had little booths. So each booth is a different vendor and they don't have to be there per se, but they set up their little area, their little vignettes. So I really love this one, even though it screams summer, but it did have some staple pieces in it, like that little wicker basket that you can use for all of the seasons. But hello, summer hello lemons this booth was really really cute the only thing about this booth is you're not going to get to haggle with people over prices but guys look at the price of this basket 30 dollars for a working basket and like i said it's really cute you can use it it's usable for picnics with your family but it's also really adorable to set up little vignettes in it for all of the seasons can you imagine this basket with a few pumpkins sticking out or a fall tea towel i think that would be just gorgeous and Another thing I love to get thrifting is those staple pieces like I was talking about. So the white pottery. Um, I love finding white pottery um, thrifting. You're going to find prices that you're not going to find at a Home Goods or TJ Maxx, and they're going to be special, unique pieces. <music> Tip number two, if it's a piece that I'm going to be finishing, I do not want to pay an arm and a leg. So I am trying to get it for the cheapest price possible, which this should be a no brainer. And it, but if it is something that I am buying as is, and it looks beautiful as is, I will pay a little bit of more money. Those are those pieces that I may bust out that card for, unless I get it for an amazing deal. But I was so happy this day that I found such gorgeous milk glass um, pieces. I love them. They're such staples in a home. You can use them for any decor season. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. You could just use them for every season that we have. So I really love that they had some really gorgeous milk glass pieces. you wanna do I'll do anything as long as I can be here with you everything's all right I'll be right here I swear that I'll stay here with you hold me closer I wanna stay here with you Be who you are and you'll be enough 
another tip that I have, don't sleep on or forget to look at the toys or the dolls. A lot, those Raggedy Ann dolls, I think that's what they're called. I had those when I was younger and they're so nostalgic and your kids will enjoy having that stuff. So dolls, puzzles, go check out all of the old toys. Give me all your love, give me all your love. Give me love, give me all your love, give me all your love. forget to check out the vintage luggage there is some great styling opportunities you can make a makeshift coffee table or end table out of vintage luggage so don't forget to check out all of the vintage luggage for great styling opportunities and the moment comes when I fall store you attend you can find some new items at wholesale prices a lot of times they'll be made to look vintage but you can find them for a great deal i really always go to this booth when i go to the this um, particular thrift store because their new items for wholesale prices are so beautiful and this bedding is to die for and a lot of times you are helping out a small shop so I just love all the items that they had in this little area. These are all new, but they are sold at those wholesale prices. And my last tip is just because you're at a thrift store, don't forget to go look for those sell prices. I have never frequented a thrift store that didn't have a sell like clearance, markdown, than it already is, products and items and areas. So always go to find those clearance sections where you can get probably the best deals that you will find at the thrift store. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed thrifting with me and just checking out all of the cozy fun items that you can add into your home for the season of fall. I will be doing a haul of all of the new fall items that I pick up. So look out for that video and I will see you guys very soon with a whole new one. Bye. Yeah, it makes me